In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about rhythm and how we can visualize rhythm. So how can we think about rhythm in a visual way? Um, so rhythm is pretty much the, the heart of, of a lot of music that we know and love. Um, so when you hear, you know, your favorite song or like, you know, a pop song, there's always some sort of rhythm in the background that's driving the music forward. And so we're going to experiment a little bit with that in this video. And so when we think about rhythm, you think about a, a drummer drumming a certain pattern over and over. So in a way, we're going to loop a rhythm. So we can think about it as like a circle because we keep looping it. So it keeps going around and around. Um, and it's kind of similar to a face of a clock. So over here, we have a circle drawn as one of our sprites. And we also have a line. So it's almost like a hand of a clock. And so when we look at the line, we'll see that we have some code here that allows the line to spin around and keep spinning. So we have a forever loop and we'll be turning the line five degrees um, and we'll be constantly doing this so it keeps going around and around. And then we also have these markers over here. So they're almost like the numbers on a clock, right? So in this case, we only have four, but um, these will represent our beats. So these little dots will be our beats and our drums or any other percussion instrument that you choose. So when we look at one of these, as the line uh, sweeps around, so when the line is going to touch the dot, um, we'll set it, uh, the instrument that we're using to a uh, percussion instrument. So you have a lot of different options, but here is a bass drum. Um, and then we'll play the bass drum for a duration of a 16th note. Um, and so we'll do this for every dot that we have. Um, I like to use different colored dots for different instruments. So in this case, the green dots are um, bass drums and then the blue dots are snare drums. So when we play this, we get a very basic drum beat, very basic drum set beat that we hear in so many different types of music from like rock music, pop music, you name it. This um, common uh, drum pattern is used in just a variety of different genres. Um, and then we can also um, move and, and think about drum patterns like in a cultural sense. So a lot of different rhythms are associated with different cultures around the world. So, for example, uh, let's see here. For example, um, this this particular circle looks exactly like the last one. Um, but if we change the line to go around for three degrees, well, we actually make the the whole speed of the drum uh, pattern a little slower. And so we get something that sounds it's very similar to the type of rhythm that's found in uh, Greek Hasapiko music. So all we did was we had the line turn instead of five degrees forever, only three degrees, which makes it goes a little bit slower than before. Another rhythm that we can explore is um, uh, one that comes from Cuban synchilo music. And um, take a listen to this. So I'm using a couple more instruments, and we're, we added a, um, I added a middle line uh, just to um, kind of you know, space some of this out a little bit better. So what we're pretty much doing is we're either adding dots um, to add more, you know, comp to make more complex rhythms, or we're moving the dots around to um, create a different uh, rhythm. So all you have to do is pick up the dot and move it. So now we'll probably get a totally different rhythm by just moving this one dot. And lastly, another rhythm that we can explore 
is one that comes um, or is very common in Persian music. So as you can see, all we have to do is move the dots around the circle and we can get just countless combinations of different rhythms um, that we see either in music that we love and listen to or music from other cultures that are um, as a way to explore, you know, um, how far does rhythm reach um, around the world?